Hey friends, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can call the OpenAI endpoint and call ChatGPT on your data using Power Query Editor in Power BI. So what I basically did was I created a small little table with just two questions, which is this one, where I asked what is the capital of China in this case and how many people speak German. These were my two questions. So basically you could have a much bigger table with maybe a few hundred rows if you want, and then you just call the OpenAI endpoint. And I did this by using a custom function, which I created, and you can see that's the result I get. So the capital is China is Beijing and so on and so on and so on. So that's basically all of it. And of course, what I need for that is an OpenAI API key. So I need, of course, to have this in my account. If you're interested, I can also show you another video how you can use this on your own custom local model. So an open source model where you don't have to pay for anything, you just have to host a model. So if you're interested in that, just let me know. So otherwise, of course, what you're interested probably is how did I do that? So how do you write the custom function? Because calling the function is quite simple, right? You just need to have a table and a specific column, and then you just use go to add column in here, go to invoke custom function. So basically this one, and then you just choose what is the new name of the column. In this case, I call it Q, and then the function query and just choose Q, which is my function here, and that's basically it. So as you can see here, Q, and then what kind of prompts do I want to call this on column one, which in this case is this column. And then I click OK, and then ChatGPT gives me the result. So that's all. So more interesting, as I said, is what does the function look like? So if I go to Q here, let me show it to you. Basically, it just uses or has one input, which is prompt, because the the API key, of course, I don't want to have this directly in my in my code. Um, so I don't want to re reveal it, of course. So that's why I created a parameter um, using the parameter option in Power Query and the home, right, uh, manage parameters and the create a parameter, parameter. And then I use this parameter in my function. So let me show you the function now. So if I go to advanced editor, you can see that's what it looks like. So it uses the prompt here as an input. Then the URL is API openai.com, the chat completions API in this case. And then in here, I have my API key, which I use from my parameter. So that's my parameter basically. And then you need to call it using the headers. And in this case, it's a bearer token. So you need to write bearer and then space and then the API key in here. The model I choose was GPT-40 mini, but of course you can also use the 4.0 or the latest models. Uh, as far as I know, they are not um, the, the new O model. I think it's not already possible to call it via API, but I'm not sure. I haven't tried it so far, but of course you can use the 4.0 models, for instance, if you want. And uh, you just specify user, the, uh, of course the prompt itself is the column where we call the API key on and the, or the, the API call on, and then we just return the JSON document because basically it's JSON and we want to have the text value itself. So that's basically the function like that. And then you just can call it on any of your tables if you want and get a result directly in um, here, Power Query Editor. And then of course you can continue using this in your Power BI report. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have questions or other things to add, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, give it a like, a thumbs up, appreciate it, and see you next time.